Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is Doug. This is Doug Sells. Today, we're gonna go over to my friend Bob's house. That's right, Bob's a good friend of mine. Bob is, uh, number one, he is a musician. So he has a band called Basket Case that plays a lot of gigs around town and bars and clubs and stuff like that. Uh, number two, Bob is a reseller, a full-time reseller. So when Bob is out, we have this deal where he kind of looks for things and if he sees any old clothes or anything, he kind of buys them and then shoots them my way. So he has some t-shirts, some tour t-shirts, band t-shirts, some Harley Davidson t-shirts, some hats. We're gonna go over to his house and we're gonna check it out. Now Bob's niche is vintage video games. So in return, if I'm ever out and I see vintage video games and stuff like that, then I need to let him know. Or any kind of resale opportunity that I come across that I don't wanna take advantage of, I'll shoot it over to Bob and see if he wants it. So we kinda of have that agreement going on. So we're gonna go over to Bob's house, we're gonna check out what he has, and hopefully it's some good stuff. Say hey Rocco, there's Rocco. There's Rocco, there's Rocco. I don't, I don't know, I, he doesn't know what to think. He doesn't know what to think. Oh, he's getting his toy. Okay, okay, he's got his toy. All right, Rocco, we're gonna go to Bob's house. You're not gonna come with us, but I'm gonna go to Bob's house and we're gonna see what he has. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Bob, what's up, Bob? What's up? Here's what I'll say, uh, don't mind the clutter. However, if you're in this game and you don't have clutter, and like two storage units, you're not doing it correctly. So. <laughs> this man has, look at look at all this stuff. This came in today. Look at all this stuff. Uh, I went down to Mississippi, um, and uh, so the guy- This must be the hats you were texting me about. That, those are the hats. Um, underneath it are the, uh, I'll just kind of pull it out. Let's see what you got. You got Harley Davidson stuff. Oh, those, those flame t-shirts, the ones with the flames on them? Yeah. Those are, those are good. Those are big. Um, yeah, I mean, a couple of these, I don't know if they're really big marketable items, but band shirts too, and a couple concert t-shirts and stuff, so we can go through all that stuff. Yeah, no, but, this um, is cool. Yeah, just whatever you want to um, kind of rummage through, go yeah. ahead. I, so kinda, like, I took the liberty of uh, going on, you know, just kind of looking up some of the, you know, different ones so that you, you can get a head start, but I know people really like that Duke one. Um, yeah, that was one of the ones I was saying that was kind of. Uh, by the way, he texted me a bunch of these pictures mm -hmm. yesterday, and we kind of looked at them. Look, yeah. this, the the Redskins Super Bowl hat. Yeah, that's I like awesome. that just you know obviously because the name change and everything. And, you know, right. Yeah, I, I look for that. That's gonna be in high demand right now. Yeah. So uh, I did like an intro before I came over here, and mm -hmm. I kind of like told the people what you did. So. Sure. Yeah, let's 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 go see some of it. Oh my gosh, yeah, dude. this is the gaming lair yeah. right here. So number one rule of this game is quid pro quo. Like uh, uh, Doug hooked me up um, on some video games, and so now it's my. I literally game. resold him. Like I sold him like my entire vintage gaming collection. It was like three dollars a game. I think you, you did. Because I didn't <laughs> I didn't have room for it anymore. So. So now it's your time wow. to reap the rewards of. Yeah, I told him your niche was uh, vintage video games. Yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, my whole apartment's. This I don't is. Know if this is kind of like borderline hoarding, but. It's not hoarding if you're getting rid of it. Right. Yeah. If you're actually selling it and doing business, it's not hoarding. I'll this show, this I'll, isn't a death pile. You know what a death pile is, right? Yeah. So. So this is the only thing I won't sell. This is sentimental to me. This was uh, my dad's. It's a complete inbox Mike Tyson's punch out. It's complete inbox. Yeah. Mike Tyson's punch out. That's awesome. Yeah, that's my the only one. thing that's lacking is an actual signature from Mike Tyson. I know, dude. I know. <laughs> yeah, that would completely drive the value way up. And then just random stuff like this number three 1960s Barbie. It's in there. I got it on eBay right now, but. You know how much are you selling that for? It retails for about six hundred. So right now the bidding's at about three fifty. It's got about. It might even end while you're here. So we'll see how much it sells for. Awesome. Yeah. Is what is through? this? Is oh, this? Really oh, is this the? Uh... Yeah, I was saving that for later, but I mean we can we can uh, bust that out. And there's a special surprise behind that, and there's a story behind this jacket. Okay, let's get to, let's to get to the special surprise. Yeah, let's go to it here. What's the special surprise? So in 1996, and I'm sure you're familiar about the World Series, it yes. was between the Braves and the Yankees. Yes. And I was at game six when the Yankees beat the Braves, your oh, Braves, and I was wearing up. this jacket. So I thought I'd show it to you, one, to show it off, and two, if you want it, if you want to buy it to burn it or sell it or whatever you want to do, you can 
you know. You don't want it to, anymore? I mean, of course I want it, but I'd rather give it to somebody that could use it and give it to a friend. Obviously, I mean, you probably want to get top dollar for that. I wouldn't like give you like a Man, I'll be honest with that. you, dude. Not really. I mean, if you can get top dollar for it, that'd be cool. You know, it's not in the greatest condition. I actually still wear it. And I can fit in it, believe it or not. Like, I think I've actually seen you wear that before. Yeah, I wore it probably last year. Um, you know, a couple of your friends wanted to buy it off me then, but you know, I figured, if I'm going to get, you know, no, if I'm going to cool. give it to somebody or sell it, then, you know, I want to give it to somebody that will appreciate it. That's kind of, you know, how I want to do it. So, yeah. oh, and then, uh, so like I go to uh, auctions all the time and I run into like random stuff. Like that Mickey TV VCR is really cool. It's supposed to have uh, ears on it, but, um, really cool picture quality. And uh, that's cool. It's yeah. The it's Disney a really on good it. gaming television, believe it or not. Yeah, for vintage gaming, yep. that's awesome. Yep. <laughs> oh, yes. I had to carry this down two flights of stairs. So that's uh, where you test everything? Yeah, I test all my games here. And this just came in, like, the last two days. I haven't listed it yet, so, um, you know, all the stuff on that table. Nice. It's fun, man. It's a lot of work, but if you, uh, you know, I, li I enjoy what I do. I wake up early, ready to go every day, you know. And uh, So I kind of lived for a week back when I was, when my birthday, I lived like a whole week mm -hmm. as a full-time reseller. What'd you think? It's, 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 uh, it's a fight. Yeah. It's the wild, wild west. Is it, it is, is the wild, wild west. I yeah. went to a estate sale on a Thursday and it opened at 10. And nothing was left? And I was there at 940 mm -hmm. and I was about the 15th person in line. Right. And they let us in early, like three minutes early. And I got in right at about 10 and I already saw a guy with like in his everything hand, everything that I wanted. I learned that the hard way too. Cause like even on Facebook marketplace, they'll advertise garage sales and there was yeah. this lady and I even knew her and she was selling all this Nintendo 64 complete in box. I got there a half an hour. It said, here's the other thing. It said no early birds. Don't listen to that. Because even if they say no early birds, get there an hour and a half early. If there's something an that you hour want. and a half. Wow. I'm not even kidding you. Cause there were people there at the butt crack of dawn. And so I get there and this guy's walking out with everything I had, you know, everything I wanted. I mean, it was like $1,500 worth of stuff and I don't even want to know what he paid for it, you know. Let's, is, take, let's, take a, let's take a look at what I came here to get. Okay. So we saw the, we're going to have to look at every item, of course, but like we saw the Redskins hat, mm -hmm. the uh, Duke Blue Devils hat, 40 Chevrolet. I don't know yes. if that's like a 40th anniversary or what. Rusty Wallace. The Daytona hat might be worth something, probably 25, 30 bucks. I think all these Mac tool hats are associated with Rusty Wallace. But so, oh, uh, this Rusty Wallace hat, so yeah. we'll have to see that. I'm interested to see some of the other ones that you really Mac like. Mac tools. Because I wanted to, I'd like, I'd like to think I had a good eye for it, but I don't know. Now, this is my favorite restaurant. Yep. But, you know, I didn't know they had, they had a motorsports. And course. according to the Demolition Man, that's going to be the only restaurant left. <laughs> Man, I used to drink so much Mellow Yellow when I was yeah. a kid. Good wrench racing. I really All like right. that one. So this one was one of the ones I said that was worth some money. Okay. But it's not that much. We're talking 30, 35 bucks. Yeah. May have to do a little bit of reshaping on this hat a little bit, but Do you do your own reshaping? Yes, I do. I haven't I haven't done any recently or ha haven't needed to. I don't know who that's signed by, but I like the design. That looks like it was to Mike, and it's signed by Bill Barney. Bill Barney. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. I'm just, I'm just guessing. Probably like a pit crew guy or something. I really liked this one. This is one of the ones that just caught my eye just from an aesthetic standpoint. National Muscle Car Association. Yeah. And I would wear this one. This oh, Washington Capitals trucker Washington hat. Capitals trucker hat. Yeah, okay, I, I don't cool. know if it like, needs to be kind of... Yeah, we'll see what we can do with it. That's cool. I like all these with the little... Uh, the rope on them? Yeah, the rope. If they have their shape, they're good. I mean, this is like a, what would you, would you call this? Um, this is a, not, what's it, Corduroy. Corduroy. Corduroy, Silver Dollar City. What city is that? I'll have to look that up. I really like this. I always love the redneck. The Arkansas. Natural State, Arkansas Razorbacks. I mean, here's a cool one if you got a lot of Jeff Gordon yeah. fans Yeah, so out this there. is this is one of the ones that was going to be like a $30, $35 hat. Yeah, it's a good looking hat. Yeah. It's one the, of my favorites. With the all over color yeah, on it. I don't think it. that's got much in it, but it's. Cheers. It has some Cheers shirts. Yeah, I, I like this, the pinstripe mellow yellow. That, More that mellow yellow. Okay. Yeah. Um, just do me. Just do me. So, this one right here, is this a long sleeve? 
No, it's not. Okay. So I was kind of hoping it was the long sleeve one with the with the flames down the sleeves. Oh, the flames down the sleeves. Yeah, those are those are those are super valuable. Yeah. Okay, cool. More than a regular one. It's a little hard, a little cut off. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's the front. It's embroidered. Embroidered. That's not an official Harley shirt though, but okay. How do you know if it's official? It's well, it would have a Harley tag, tag on it, oh, and and sense. so and it, it may be dubbed like a uh, like a like a what do you call it? Like a bootleg. It may get taken down from the site. So this is this is embroidered too. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Always pick Harley shirts when I see them. So okay. I, I like the pocket tees. Yeah. That's official Harley. Nice. Let's Actually, see the back. Size too. That's cool. Nice. I think a couple All of these green. are from Sturgis. I want to say. Yeah, I've sold see. some Sturgis shirts before. Australia. Oh, that's Australia again. I was just talking about that. Yeah. Bike Week. Bike Week. Daytona Beach. That's cool. Yeah. So the official Harley. Yep. Harley Davidson. What's that? What's the year on it? It usually says it on the front. 2008. 2008. Yeah. It almost. Yeah, this looks like a uh, Fud Puckers kind of style. But it's Harley Davidson. Evansville, Indiana. Okay, cool. Here's the ladies. Yeah. A ladies Harley shirt, Black Hills Rally, yeah, Sturgis, Sturgis, yeah. Man. Okay, that's vintage too, 2001. Yeah, 2001. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna sell. I sold a couple Sturgis shirts from the 80s for about 30, 35 bucks a piece. Oh, Bumpus, this is local. Yeah, this is local, sleeveless. Yeah. Okay, now we got some tour tees. The, the police. police. So these aren't, is that, this one might, that might be vintage. 2007. Nope, uh, it's close. What we got there? Keith Urban. Keith Urban. That was Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> Shows how much I know. It does kind of look like yeah. Goo Goo Dolls though. All right, Keith Urban. People like Keith oh, Urban. People love Keith Urban. New, New kids. kids on the block. I think oh, this is man. a recent one. I don't think it's vintage. But, no, it's not. But they I'm look too you, old. They look too old in 2008. that. 2008. <laughs> that's that's listen. That's 15 years old. God, what size is this? I would totally man, keep this. I know, dude. It's gonna be too small for me. So it looks like a medium. Yeah, that ain't gonna fit me. Yeah, it looks that's like fine. a medium. Kenny, Kenny Chesney. Chesney. All right. You can't go wrong with Kenny Chesney. Didn't I see like a Taylor Swift somewhere? Oh, yeah. Taylor Swift. She's so hot right now. Nice. Yeah. Taylor Swift. Okay, God, cool. Gaudy shirt. <laughs> and what's this other band tee over here, man? What's that up, what's that oh, up there? Oh, yeah. What's this that is, up there? This is vintage. This is my band Basket Vintage case. as of last weekend? <laughs> as of like two Basket weeks Basket Case. Ago. This is Bob's band Basket Case. Yeah, we uh, yeah, so we, we like the yeah. I'm not gonna resell that though. I'm not <laughs> yeah, I don't think, that, man, I tell you what, I'll autograph it and we'll just reduce the value. Reduce it. And then, uh, this, I mean, it. You know, I looked up the the value of this. So the, oh, that's a FedEx jacket. Yeah, yeah. It, like official, like I guess it's like official Federal Express because of this Stan Herman. I guess you know, designed by Stan Herman. But this is like your OG, like. Old school like Federal the, Express. Your original FedEx shirt. Yeah. I mean, jacket, sorry. I mean, dude, this is, it's in good, good condition. It needs a little love and care, but I mean, it looks so like So what kind of value good. did you find out on this one? So these are selling between like 45 and 60 bucks. Okay, it's and not it, bad. It's probably being sold to just, you know, any FedEx employee that, that need. you know. My uncle works at the uh, hub in Elizabeth, New Jersey. This is what he would wear in the winter. Gotcha. You know, so anybody that's working outside, or even if you just... I guarantee there's tons of Federal Express collectors you know, gotcha. that, that would, yeah. would buy that up. But in this condition, it probably wouldn't go for that much. Um, I, I don't know how much this... This isn't like Minnesota. starter or anything. What's the What's the brand? I couldn't find the brand. That was a crazy no thing. No brand? Was, yeah, no brand. The crazy, it was ripped off. I was going to say anymore. like Proline or... That's what it looks like. But, I mean, maybe you can dig into it and figure out which brand it is. But okay. it's decent. And then um, here's a Notre Dame champion yeah the Jacket. champion that's a great logo yeah it's I, I guarantee notre dame, anything notre dame will pop off very quickly yeah okay you know yeah. so if you're interested in something like that actually i'm selling a hat for 95 dollars a notre dame hat on ebay right now and some guy messaged me today and offered me 35 dollars for it for it <laughs> yeah you'll get that a lot yeah it's like and no then, thank uh, you positive vibes positive vibes that's the uh, people could, uh the motto. That. All right, Bob. Go ahead. Here's the big question. Okay. How much do you want for all this? So what? You want the whole lot, correct? Hats, yeah. jackets. Yes. Including, so Irish, just like we'll say. Yep. 
Yep. Okay. We'll say Vikings, and we're including the Yankees. I'm never gonna wear it again. I've had it for. 20 years. All right. You, well, you I'll, do with it? I'll, I mean, I'll sell it. Yeah. But I'm going to give it to a baseball fan because, you know, I, I have to really like focus on one thing and reduce clutter anywhere I can. Yes. So, so all right. Well, I will, I will take it in the, uh, in the Tennessee hat back there. No. So I want to know how much you're in on this. Tell me how much you're in on it. I'll tell you how much I'm in on it. Hats okay. and shirts, 140. Uh, I paid fifteen dollars for an entire coat bin, which was this is like one fifth of it. Okay. So let's just say a hundred and fifty, and then the um, you know I know the Yankee jacket if you get top dollar is anywhere between ninety to one hundred and thirty bucks, and maybe you could get north of that if you really stretch it. And then the you know TJ Fridays it's really just it, you have to find the right buyer for that. Yeah. So you know all that being said, with you know you wanting to make a profit and everything, I mean. I couldn't. I want you to get your money back because this is kind of like you're helping me. So I want yeah. I want you to get your money back. I couldn't save more than two hundred bucks. Huh? That's probably what I would be at, like two hundred. Two hundred plus a finder's fee. I think two hundred. Yeah, you sold me all that stuff for really cheap. How about two twenty for the finder's fee? How we'll, about we'll do two twenty. I don't have I don't have a I don't have, <laughs> I don't have, a, have a I don't have a ten. All right, two twenty will work. There is two hundred and twenty smackaroos. American dollars. American dollars. Cool. Yes, they're not counterfeit. Man, I hope you, I hope you do well on this, man. And it's getting a lot of stuff out of here, which is Let's good. Because now my girlfriend won't be mad at me anymore. Which is, <laughs> you always got to keep the girlfriend happy. There you go, <laughs> Bob. Hey, thank you so much, Doug. Appreciate thank you it. for your business. Yeah, man. I man. might even come see your band play this weekend. Please do two nights. Two nights. Yeah, come see right. us one night. We need all the help we can get. All right, man. All right, guys. Thank you very much for coming to Bob's house with me. We got a bunch of good stuff. Gave him some money. He's happy. We're going to be able to make some money. So stay tuned. Maybe you'll see some of these items on a future sales update. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like the video because it really does help the channel. And let's see some comments. Tell me what you think. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.